Hi everyone, and welcome. This is me, Noxie. Um, and this is a playthrough of a game called Wine, Win and Keep. Uh, it was uh, developed by um, an independent uh, group of people, or developers. They call themselves a Jolly Corpse. Oh, a bit of a shout out actually to Jesse Ball, who um, highlighted this game to me. Uh, I was playing one of the other platform games, which is called Smashbox, which can be seen on one of my other videos. Um, I might have a link to that, I don't know yet. <coughs> this is um, my first playthrough, so obviously please excuse me while I try and figure out the first few levels of how to get past certain things. Oh, it doesn't want that bit rope. Or that lantern, in fact. That's really quite funky music. Yeah. Ah, so we're heading towards that golden. See now, this is why I'm not sure why it's called if it's called wine or win. Win. Vin and keep. Vin and keep. I'm gonna say bin. Vin. Vin. Win. With. With and keep. I don't know. But it's on green light, so vote for it. Yes. Right, normal game. We've got to do this how it's supposed to be done. So how to play? You've got two characters which you have to ship between, clearly. Um, and you've got jump, which is also up. No, it's not. It's W. Completely different. And down is something to do with a bomb. You push boxes to get up to bigger places, and then you put boxes on buttons to open doors. So we've got um, some speech bubbles here, so uh, I suppose without further ado, let's get into this properly, shall we? <laughs> finally, we're here! Yeah, finally. I've had to pee for like 12 hours. Luckily for you, we're in the jungle. Bushes are abound and the rivers run loudly. A paradise for the woodland squatter. Haha. Uh -huh. So what's so special about this place? It's legendary! And so's your ego. Well, so's your vanity, but that aside, rumour speaks of a great treasure hidden deep within the temple. It better be more than a rumour. You spent all of our stash on that stupid plane, you bonehead. Ha! A simple investment for a great expedition. In the middle of nowhere, in a jungle full of creepy crawlies. Creepy crawlies indeed. Mind your skirt. Onward, keep. Venture awaits. A leg up. Ho oh, ho, what do I spy? Treasure to the non-believers among us. A single gold coin? Might as well have stolen candy from a baby. I only do it for the challenge. Infants possess remarkable strength. Right. This may be a single coin, but I wager a single coin that is more where this came from. Good, because that's all the money we have. Let's go. The flies are swarming. That you shouldn't wear. Oh, the carcass. Perfume next trip. Just make sure there's no secret passageways. Yeah. 
Well done. Hey you. Mind your head. Mind your head. Oh, there's a ruby floating in mid air over there. Hey, Win, I found it. Oh, what are you doing? That's the wrong voice. Hey, Win, I found a journal. Or something looks. Or something looks old. Don't care. Looking for treasure. You should care. It might help. I don't, much in it. I don't need reading. I don't think reading is. He oh. I don't think reading's ever helped anyone. Well, listening has. It says, how marvellous, a wooden box. I've discovered several of these oddities. Their origins remain a mystery to me. But there's no question their usefulness by pushing them into position. I've been able to reach new heights. Passage through the treacherous ruin. What's in the box? Treasure? Your brain up, okay. Yeah! Got 30 gold coins. Up, up, whoop, bit. Yeah! Over then under. Right, so on his head, up here. Oh no! She can't get back up because she fell down. <laughs> oh, it's not. And it is gone. Another journal? It looks like a trend. Now, now, keep. Not everything is trendy or hip or cool. I said it looks like a trend. Oh, forget it. It says. A mystery quest, the mystery quest deeper, I stumbled across the switch this morning. Standing in it had no effect, my wooden bones weren't just heavy enough. But then a bulb was set alight in my head, after some fingling I managed the box upon the switch, as if it was meant to be. The switch was depressed, a sudden rattle emerged from a nearby bush, and I discovered a trap door I'd opened. I'll have to keep a lookout for these shortcuts. They are doubt to be save me hours of travel. And what does all that mean? Were you even paying attention? I fade in and out. Right, I don't want to get this stuck in the corner. Bumbling Grotto! And drop that down. Ah, oh, no, I did it wrong, did I? Drop this one down. Is it? No? No. Oh, come on, we can't get this. Right, so let's drop this one down. And she stays there. So then this can be dropped on her head. Like that. And then the switch and then we are the red and we it. Yeah! Oh, there's more loot, but I didn't see it. Should we try and find it? Should we try and find it? No, I don't. Trying to find loot is boring for people. Boxes float on water. Who would have thought such a simple attraction could be so practical? Well, that was short. That was short? So we're supposed to push boxes in the water now? If you want to cross this river, yes. Why, you're chubby. You're, you float, don't you? Get pushing, or we'll go and find out how well you sink. Do call the lazy chubby. He was thinking the massive tube burn. He's a very mean man. He is very mean. Yeah. Didn't even have to. 
sleep. That's it. Piranha Perils. What's this over here? Nothing. Apparently. Oh, how'd I get that? Oh, I got it. Right. That. Must come down here. Look at that. That thing goes over here. She sits in that hole. Push it onto the switch. Yeah. Foggy Nook. Hello, Foggy Nook. Off she goes. Amusingly enough. The profundity boxes have become ensnared in an ancient weave of some sorts. Sort. It was hoisted high into the jungle canopy anchored by a neighbouring tree. The box seemed steady enough as I could safely mount it and observe the unique avian life of Amazonia. When my studies were concluded, I slashed the twine suspending the box, allowing me to use it as another one of its mysterious kin. So what does that mean? If we cut the box down, then we can use it like all the other boxes. Oh, cool! Free box! Dark side. Mechanisms embedded into the wall shoot poison arrows at uh, arrows over timed intervals. It's a trap! The ever present wooden box saved me, blocking the booby trap, but the deeper I tread, the more dangerous lurk. Ooh, scary! I will have to play on the side of caution as I work my way deeper into the temple. Even I cannot imagine it has that way every twist and turn. Boo! Stop interrupting me! So help me God. You gonna cry? <laughs> that monkey was happy about that. Hi, what the, what just happened? What happened? What was that about? Eh. Eh. Oh, oh. Eh. I think it's eh. Run. <laughs> so that would be fine, didn't I? They're like... <laughs> Out of the pan. I still can't get over how... What was going on with the bonus thing. Right, there's more reading to be done. Dr. Arthur P. Circumstance... Logged... His historic expedition into the previously uncharted temple of the now extinct Zulot tribe. Zulot? Isn't that the name of one of your stupid dogs? Kalos is Zylo Zizoth's. 
I'm sorry guys, I have no idea what that says. And he is stupid. The natives of this, these lands fear this place. They refer to it as the Temple of the Golden Idol, a revered icon of the Zult. They say these woods are cursed by its very presence and refuse to accompany me on my voyage. This may trek you through the dense jungles of Amazonia. It's slow and overwhelming. Like all this reading. But as I now gaze upon the temple's astonishing ruin, I am assured of my purpose. Over the next few days, I hope to explore this fantastic archaeological find, bringing a light to a little known Zulot. Zulot. How is that pronounced? Is it Zulot? I don't know. It looks like I'm just making up sounds to try and remotely get it close. Oh, she's still there. Oh, this is gonna be awkward. I gotta drop this box on the red, then push it down, then somehow block. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Boo, 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 boo. The entrance to the temple at long last. It would have been faster if someone had remembered his notes. I swear I packed them. Somehow they seem to have disappeared. No matter, after we transverse this pitfall, the treasures of the entire kingdom will be ours. And how per se do you intend on transversing it? Good intentions? With my trusty rope, of course. Let me just find it. Insert sound effects of shuffling here. Everything going okay? Of course, what I meant to say is with this sturdy greenery by which we now find ourselves surrounded. I'm not clambering down into the dark on some slimy creeper. It will not be dark once I ignite my trusty lantern. No lantern? Supplies seem short, but do not be discouraged. Keep, for intuition shall guide us. Mine, I hope. Breaking ground. Ah, level two. I'm going to end it at level two, two, one. Level two, one. Yeah, there's one. Yeah. Right, so, I'm going to end it there, guys. That was fun. This is an interesting game, and quite comical as well, which makes a complete like, difference, a difference to how I normally play stuff like this. Anywho, um, thank you again very much for watching. This has been Noxy, and you have, of course, been awesome. And until next time, in part two, uh, we'll see how this, this story unfolds. Ciao!